On this Feel Good Friday, with Thanksgiving less than a week away now, it's a time to really pause, reflect, and think about what we are thankful for and count our blessings. So let's talk about expressing gratitude. Joining me now is Dr. Sonal Harder with Dignity Health Medical Group. It is so great to have you. And when I think of gratitude, I immediately thought of you, which is why I wanted to do this segment. Because I'm you grateful to be here. <laughs> I'm, I am grateful to have you here because I just I Thank see you. you also as a friend as well. Absolutely. So, Let's talk about the power of gratitude and really mm -hmm. as a doctor, you know, the overall effect that it can have on mm -hmm. our well-being. So gratitude has a ton of studies that actually show it impacts our overall well-being. Mm -hmm. It literally rewires our brain and produces more of those good hormones like oxytocin, yeah. endorphins, and those are all love hormones. So here's what gratitude does. People who practice gratitude, they have lower blood pressure. They have lower symptoms of depression and anxiety. They also tend to make very mindful choices to exercise, be engaged in good nutritional habits, mm -hmm. better self-esteem, better social relationships. And this is proven based on ton of studies in psychology. Yeah. So we know that gratitude is good for us, provided it's a consistent habit. And really it's body, mind, and soul. Absolutely. So let's practice it. How? What are some ideas and ways that we can practice gratitude? So just like anything in this life, it has to be consistent practice. It cannot be just for Thanksgiving, although it's a great idea to start on a Thanksgiving right. day, but it has to be daily. And what studies show is even five minutes or three things that you express gratitude for mm -hmm. on a daily basis for 21 days creates a overall long-lasting effect so imagine if we did that every day yes. right three things five minutes or less Absolutely. and so that's that's what gratitude is about you can journal it so at the end of the day the way I do it is write down three things at the beginning of the day or end of the day okay. you can have a gratitude jar in the middle of your house and oh. ask your kids to drop <gasps> something specific I love that. or you can have a gratitude board right here at workplaces oh. that creates actually better productivity and positive atmosphere improves optimism amongst people so how cool is that? I never thought about a gratitude board at work. Yes. Well, I was thinking your personal life, yes. but like really at work, I'm so grateful for the people I work with, Absolutely. this show, our guests. Absolutely. Like, there's so many things that you know I, I think about and remind myself, but I, I never care to write it down. And I think if you think about it, work people are extended family. Oh my gosh, right? you spend more time with your co-workers than you do with your own family. And expressing gratitude and receiving yeah. gratitude both have health benefits. Yes. So very important that we don't do it on one day, but do it as a habit on a consistent basis. Yeah, and when I think about, you know, the older I get, the more grateful I've become. And it's, you know, everybody always says, I'm so grateful for my family. I'm so grateful for my friends. But I try to be grateful specifically absolutely like when we're camping and i love the campsite i feel so grateful mm -hmm. that we have enjoyed this space and this moment right? absolutely but it's just it's it's being in the moment and being like exactly how you're feeling and what you're saying and where you're at uh, and being very specific when you express gratitude towards your co-workers or yeah. towards your spouse or partner be specific about what you're grateful for instead of being generic because I do think people prefer that so they know exactly what action impacts you know other people around them exactly you know but sometimes though on the flip side mm -hmm. it can be hard if you've lost a loved one Absolutely. if you're in a bad breakup you know what have you so how would people get over that and try to find the positive. And it's so, that is so true. Having gratitude in good times is easier mm -hmm. than keeping a gratitude log when you're going through tough times, but that is when you need the most. That yes. is part of healing. And here's, and actually I started my gratitude journal back in 2017, which was one of the toughest years of my life. It had a lot of illnesses and loss. And when I felt like I had absolutely no hope is when I started my gratitude journal. And here's what you do. You lean into grief, but you start being grateful to small acts of kindness. Yeah. It could be something as small as for a cup of coffee, to be able to step out in the backyard and experience nature, yes. good weather, or if you have suffered a loss, yeah. be grateful for the memories with that person that you've had. Mm -hmm. I think those are things that change a little bit of perspective. It doesn't change your loss, but yeah. it gives you, allows you a different perspective, helps you kind of build that optimism, and of course keeps that hope alive. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, I feel so, my, my cup is full. 
I Thank hope so. so. Mine is too, Tram. Yes, just your friendship. I, I'm so grateful for you, not only as an expert, but just as a great friend. Thank you so, so thank much. You. Thank, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we would love to hear what you are thankful for. And if you have any questions for Sonal, just text us 602-444-1212. Again, make sure to let us know who you are and where you're texting from. And we'd love to share live on the air in about 20 minutes.